Hello friends, uh, here I am solving a da some doubts sent by a student. The first question in the series is uh, from number system. A number when divided by 342 gives a remainder 47. When the same number is divided by 19, what would be the remainder? So I have explained this concept so many times. Once again, we just go for a quick recap. Suppose I have a number over here, uh, say 15, right? And if I divide 15 by say uh, 6, right so 6 twos are 12 and 3 is the remainder so 15 can be written as 6 into 2 plus 3 that means dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder ok so that is the standard formula now over here, uh, a number, I assume this number is x. Okay. When it is divided by 342, gives a remainder 47. So since we don't have quotient over here, so I assume the quotient to be q. Right. So this is divisor into quotient plus remainder is 47. So a number, what is that number? That is x, that is 342q plus 47. Okay. So we got the number. Next is, when this number is divided by 19, what would be the remainder, right? Now, 342Q plus 47, when divided by 19, what would be the remainder? Now, remainder of A plus B is equal to remainder of A plus remainder of B. Okay. So, I can find out the remainder, overall remainder by dividing the individual terms. Now, 342 is multiple of 19. So, you will be getting remainder 0 over here. And 47 divided by 19, the remainder is uh, 19, 2s are 38. So, the remainder will be 9 over here. So, the total remainder will be 0 plus 9, which is already less than 19. So, your final remainder is 9. So, the important things uh, to, uh, to be learned over here is how to be represent a number in terms of quotient, divisor, remainder or whatever what is the relationship among dividend, quotient, divisor and remainder. So that is this relationship. Apart from that, if at all you have to find out the overall remainder. So remainder of A plus B is equal to remainder of A plus remainder of B. Similarly, just one step ahead, remainder of A into B will be equal to remainder of A into remainder of B, right? If we have any uh, divisor, maybe X, so remainder of A into B when divided by X is remainder of A divided by X and remainder of B divided by X, right? Into, okay, so whatever remainder you are getting, if it is more than X, then subtract X from it and if it is already less than X, then your uh, remainder will be same, okay? Uh, you can Take smaller examples over here. Suppose uh, uh, maybe I just take very small example. 20 divided by 7, what is the remainder? Right? Now we already know remainder is 6. Now by this method, 20 can be written as 10 into 2. Okay? Or 4 into 5, whatever. So remainder when 10 is divided by 7 into remainder when 2 is divided by 7. So, when 10 is divided by 7, remainder is 3. When 2 is divided by 7, remainder is 2. So, final remainder, it is 6. It is already less than 7. So, this is the final remainder. Okay. So, we can take smaller examples. So, the concept will be clear in your mind. I hope uh, you have understood this.